Hi everybody, my name is Renato Quintero, also known as Rake, and today I want to talk about a topic that was suggested on my Patreon. And this topic is about how can we keep our motivation going when we are drawing and when we are uh, um, working on our careers or as um, our hobby. And uh, one of the things that we have to understand as artists is that uh, this journey is going to be uh, a journey of highs and lows. There's going to be moments where you're going to have a great time uh, drawing, being motivated, and then there's also going to be times when you're going to have a struggle, when you don't feel in the zone, that you don't feel that your art is being connected uh, with the things that you want to express. And this is uh, due to a few things, but I will say one is the uh, mindset that you have at the time. And we cannot have a positive mindset only for art. We have to see our emotional state overall as a person and evaluate ourselves, our situations. Our, if we have troubles in our work, in our daily life, in our relationships, it's going to be really hard to uh, get a nice drawing going unless you use these feelings to create this in a negative way, which is not the best way, I feel. And we have to have that uh, positive mindset when we want to work and when we want to study and we want to do all, achieve all the things. And one of the things that can uh, destroy this positive mindset is, as I said, our relationship or current state of our lives. And so you have to evaluate that and you have to try to understand your position and try to engage art in a, in a positive way when you are uh, about to draw. And one of the common things that I found that artists struggle uh, in terms of uh, keeping motivation is that they set uh, higher goals and they want to achieve something um, pretty big in a very short uh, period of time uh, with not too much effort. And as I said, um, this uh, art journey takes time and it has highs and lows. So we have to understand our current level and then we have to be uh, positive about it and that every drawing that we do is a step closer to getting better and to improve if is that what we're uh, looking for. And and this is uh, one of the issues that many artists, especially beginners, they set up uh, higher goals and the frustration comes through that because they cannot achieve that level what they, of what they want in, in a short period of time. And when that frustration comes, then you feel like, why are you going to spend time drawing? Why are you going to do this? Who's going to look at this stuff? And, and you think about all this aspect and then the negative uh, part of your brain start growing. It's something really easy to get your negative mindset to start rolling and they make you things, uh, think things that are not there and then you put yourself down uh, because it's easy. You can say, I'm not good enough. I'm not uh, doing good enough. Uh, I'm not skilled enough. I, ha I don't think I'm going to be able to make this. And all of these are big pressures when you are working on a big project. Um, and the solution for this, obviously, is a, is a inverse, is to have a short-term goals and small, tiny projects that you can achieve. And when I say projects, sounds like a big thing, but probably like a tiny goal. For example, every day you can say, oh, today I'm going to draw a, a face, an eye. To draw, today I'm going to draw uh, this from a, a, an anime that I like. And I'm going to do... A, five drawings of, of uh, eyes and then I'm going to draw um, a few hands today or the next day you draw a head and then you draw a character that you like from, from any series. But you just have to make sure that you finish that or even like doing a tiny doodle of, of anything that you like. You can draw a, a, a mug, you can draw an object that you like and then when you finish that you have a sense of completion like okay I achieved something and I feel good. I was teaching uh, how to draw to my uh, current girlfriend and she was like that. I don't know, I cannot put any pencil, I'm not good enough, this is not fine. And she has a little, like very low confidence starting. But when you, uh, when she finished some of the, of the drawings that she was doing, just a tiny little, I convinced her, like, why don't you just draw this bottle here? Or what, what, is, what are the things that you like the most? And she said, well, I like to draw feathers, that feathers, I like feathers. So I said, well, let's 
do some doodles on sketches of any feathers see some pictures online and then we'll draw and i'll help you out and let's see how it goes when she did her first uh, uh feather she was kind of disappointed and since then she has been doing you know here and there uh, a few drawings of feathers and i can see how she has been improved uh, through time and she's not putting any effort and she's not gonna she's not trying to be an artist or anything but uh, the fact that she's attempting that she's trying is a, a big step and you have to recognize that even if it's a doodle even if it's just like like a quick drawing that you're doing all of that is already a big goal you are you're achieving things you are completing things and you're moving forward many people who are not into the art world might think oh this is a simple sketch but they may never have uh, the chance to to actually sit down and create something themselves so that's something that we have to understand that you just by the fact that you took your sketchbook and you're drawing and you are created something and then you created something that you like or that you want to understand is already a goal that we have achieved and we don't have to put ourselves down because of the final result we have to understand that this is one of the many drawings that's gonna be uh, part of our training or part of our art journey. I have many drawings that are not good. That I feel they are not good, but I wouldn't say they are not good. They are all my drawings. I like all my drawings, even when they are uh, doodles and they don't mean anything. Those are my drawings, and I like them because I actually took the time and I drew them. So that will keep me as a motivation. Just finish something small. Don't focus yourself on big goals or, or big things that you have to achieve because those things will take s like a long time to achieve. And if you achieve uh, small goals step by step, when you realize, oh, I actually have done all of this, I feel this sketchbook in, in less time than I thought because you are like, sketching and you're putting the time to try. And that's all the things. Uh, try new things. Try to, to draw something. Don't say, oh, I never drawn that. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. Because that's going to block you. And you are like, I don't know. Maybe someday I'll try. Why don't you just try? Why don't you just give it a chance to try? Even if the drawing uh, is not the best drawing ever, you, you did something. You started to understand. I wanted to, to draw cars. And I started you know doing some sketches of the cars the car came like wonky the wheels were weird and i was not satisfied with the drawing but i understood that this is one of the many many drawings that i have to do to achieve my goals and every drawing i did i feel like better okay this is getting better and things are moving forward and i feel i'm having some uh, progression and that kept me motivated to try again oh i want to try this why, why, why don't i don't try to draw a different kind of car or maybe a motorcycle or maybe something simple maybe like a part of an engine maybe a mechanical part of the of the motorbike try to understand that and that's how i keep the motivation to to do it i change topics sometimes i'm drawing robots sometimes i'm drawing girls with robots sometimes i'm drawing some cars sometimes i just draw a little bit of nature and maybe some flowers maybe some plants that i have allowed around in my house and once i do that i feel like okay i have achieved something today i can move forward so no big projects or hard projects use uh, small projects easy in your sketchbook some inking try the ink if you're gonna try ink someday if you want to do it or if you want to try some color pencil just grab a color pencil and try and do it if it doesn't work you can always trash it put it on the trash can so the fact that you try that's already a big goal and and a big achievement and you have to appreciate that also you have to one of the other things that i have in mind is that that you have to <coughs> set your own time to study take some time to to practice the things that you need to practice so you can improve the drawings that you're doing take the time and if you can this is something important try to draw with friends try to hang out with friends and then get together and draw for like a sketch session and then you will find how motivated you're gonna be by having other people around you that they want to do the same or they want to draw maybe they are at a higher level and then you can ask for advices and then you will learn from them or you can even give some advice to other people that are really really starting from zero and then you can ref uh, give some feedback from what your experience is and that's the thing to understand that there's always going to be better artists than yourself and there's always going to be artists that are not even started that haven't even taken the pencil yet to do a drawing and 
and don't overstress yourself about those things. And you can treat your sketch as something personal. You don't have to show all the drawings you have done to, to people if you don't want to. But it's also nice to show them and then you feel a little bit more confident that I did this drawing and I'm showing off. And never apologize for your drawings. Never say, oh man, this is not good. It's not my best drawing uh, and this is not the thing that I should. No, that's already negative. You have to say, well, I did this. I have to improve and I think I'm going to be working on this and that. <coughs> and that's how you can be uh, and have a better positive mind for your motivation. Another thing of motivation is look at different artists, look what things that they are doing and what they like to, to, to draw. Maybe you you see those drawings and think yourself, I want to draw something like that. Why don't you copy that? I did a lot of copies uh, back in 1997 when I was a big fan of the X-Men and I'm still a big fan of the X-Men. I will have a in my house a uh, comic uh, comic book from the x-men and i will every day i will try to draw a a page and a letter size page with pencils or color pencils and just for the fun of it i will spend hours just drawing the during the whole day just one drawing and then i will uh, stick it on the wall in my bedroom and as the time went, I saw how every day or every two days, three days, I will have a new drawing on the wall. I didn't do this every day religiously, but I had the sense that I did pretty often and that helped me to have that sense of achievement. I completed something, I put it on the wall, I feel proud, something has been done. And that's the reward. And that will keep you motivated. Um, also, uh, understand what is your, your, your end goal. Are you going to be an artist that this is what you want to do as a career or this is just something that is your hobby and you like to do on the side? This is very important because if you're going to be an artist and you want to be a professional artist, then you have to make sure that you're going to and, and know that you're going to sacrifice a lot of things, yeah, a, lot of, a lot of like time, a lot of, a lot of um, priority a relationship, fun time, not playing video games, and spending time studying, practicing hardcore. Whereas if you are just uh, doing your hobby and you just want to draw, then you can take things in a more relaxed way. So you have to understand which, where, where what is your end goal and what are you going to reach. And for me, it took time, it took a few years until I was like, okay, I feel like I would really like to be an artist. I always drew for fun. But I never thought that uh, I was going to be like uh, like at the level where I am right now. But with dedication, fun, and with friends around to sketch, and with that hung, uh, uh, hunger for knowledge. I wanted to know, I want to see, I want to I wanna understand how other people do their work. And I, I will buy uh, books about anatomy, I will buy uh, all the things that I needed, and then I will research and I will practice from those things, and I will try different media to keep myself motivated through that. Especially I, for me, in my case, I will be motivated by collecting different art books or trying something new, like a new, new different uh, media, charcoal, ink, color pencil, different kind of papers, different colors. And nowadays I feel more uh, motivated to try uh, new compositions, what I, have I, what, what I haven't done so far and what are the things I would like to draw in the future. Also I have Instagram to to see other artists and and but this can be dangerous if you have Instagram that you cannot compare yourself with all these artists all the time because your mindset will be tainted into a negative side. You have to see this artwork and appreciate the drawing and enjoy what they have done and try to bring some of that to your work. Always in a positive mind. But as I said we are going sometimes down and then we don't feel good and we don't feel that we are good enough and then we are not doing the, the best that we can do and it's okay to feel like that but if you want to escape from that maybe you should need you need to take a break and to uh you need to do some exercise to watch a movie to relax but don't take this for too long because then this is gonna fail take this for like one day two days and then come back to draw if you take a week, three weeks, four weeks, you realize that you wasted time, you wasted a year, two, three years without drawing anything because you thought you needed a break and then you just didn't try enough and then you let it go. That's one of the big mistakes. What I mean, like take a break, is like take a break one day, two days, do something different, 
play with some friends, play some video games, do other things, but then come back to it. You have to come back to it and you have to sketch and you have to to, to draw the things, your mini goals. Remember, they are mini goals. So even if you can fit a mini goal then every day or any 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 yeah any goal every day or every two days then you will feel better you want to feel that you're going to go back to that sketchbook and complete things also remember that sometimes you don't complete things maybe you can complete those things later but make sure to complete them later i have many 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 sketches that i have done that i haven't completed that i say maybe one day i'll finish this but I have the idea, I place the sketch, it's there on hold, I'm working on other things, I'm completing other things. And I'm moving forward with my with my artwork career as I go. So for motivation, many things, go outside, uh, meet people, uh, don't be afraid of showing your work, set small goals. That's the most important things that I have, I have said here. Short term goals and don't overstress yourself and understand that this is a journey that will take time and if you if it's, since it's going to take time you have to make it as fun as possible otherwise you're going to feel this as a chore as a, as a work as as a heavy load that you have to do so then all the fun from drawing it, it disappears and then you find yourself in a very uh, tight situation where you don't just want to do anything um, I hope this uh, conversation have helped you to feel motivated and work a little bit more. Hope you have some uh, some ideas or so, some something. I have left something in your mind so you can uh, start drawing. So why don't you just after this video grab your sketchbook, draw a few hands, draw a few faces, draw your character, draw the things that you want to draw. Maybe make some notes about the things you would like to draw and then start working on that sketchbook doodle while, while you watch a movie rewatch some of all series and then draw from those characters use for fun for yourself you don't have to show this to anybody it's for yourself and for your fun and then from that you feel inspired and then uh, you will want to come back to it so thank you very much to everybody who uh, uh, join me for this uh, talk today. I hope you have found knowledge on this and if you have any other topics that you want me to talk about Please let me know and thank you very much for supporting patreon and thank you for watching this video process of Fubuki that goes from traditional to uh, digital So thank you very much guys. Thank you